off the supermarket shelves, but not the European political agenda. In London, on Saturday, the British government held an emergency meeting to discuss the horse meat crisis. It has emerged a French firm, Spangero, supplying horse meat passed off as beef to British shops, was at the centre of a major E. coli scare 20 months ago. The bacteria can cause potentially fatal food poisoning. It is one of two French companies under investigation. Who is at fault? Who defrauded whom? In the light of the investigation, and once we have the conclusions, then we will have to take sanctions. Comigel is the other French company under investigation. It supplied beef, infected with horse meat, to several European countries. We don't know where the horses have come from, or if they've died naturally or of disease. We don't know anything. They just put it in and expect everybody else to take it and eat it. If you were meant to eat a horse, you know, the butchers would be selling it. And, I don't know, it just makes you think there's not enough um, checks. Romania has been identified as one source, while in Poland, investigations have ruled out claims from Ireland that it was the source of horse meat found in Irish and British burgers. Food giant Findus said they have received a letter from supplier Comigel saying the fraud could date back to August 2012.